They were all victims of one of the worst hospital scandals. Their lives cut short after being given dangerous amounts of painkillers. Had whistleblowers been listened to at the time, some of them may have been saved from death. One senior NHS advisor feels until staff are free to speak out, this sort of thing is likely to happen again. We really need an independent system to look at people who whistleblow. Um, completely independent of the NHS and protected uh, rather than being fired, gagged and blacklisted. Families of those who died heard yesterday how staff at Gosport War Memorial Hospital had been silenced by management when they raised concerns over the use of opioids. Today, attention has turned to whether a culture of denial still exists. The Department of Health rejects the idea that this sort of scandal could be happening elsewhere today. They say that health trusts are now much better regulated, that there are stricter controls on drug use and crucially, they say, they've made it easier for staff to raise concerns. Despite that, the Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt admitted the blame culture in the NHS needs to change. Julie Bailey helped uncover huge failings at Staffordshire Hospital. She now advises others who have concerns about the health service. I handle complaints day in, day out. Pattern is exactly the same. Um, people face hostility from organisations, they have their concerns played down and they spend years trying to battle these big organisations on their own. Nothing has changed for those within the organisation raising concerns and those out of the organisation. For those who lost relatives at Gosport, the fight does not stop here. Elsie Devine's family say only when criminal charges are brought will it end. The government should stand up and say, actually, we haven't helped you. In fact, we've hindered you getting justice for the last 20 years. So it's about time we stood up and gave you that support to make sure that you get to court and you get your, your justice for the people that were killed at Gosport. It's support the families and NHS staff didn't have at the time. Now, whether relatives get what they want is a matter for the police. Emily Morgan, ITV News.